Hey there, welcome to my YouTube video on how to enable the attribute editor in Active Directory and view user attributes. In this video, I will walk you through the steps using both Active Directory users and computers and PowerShell. First, I will show you how you can view the user attributes using the Active Directory users and computers MMC snap-in. Open Active Directory users and computers console by clicking on the start button and searching for it. Once it opens, click on view and select advanced features. Next, I'm going to open up the properties of a user. I'm going to select Michael Green. Right click on the user and click on properties. And in here, click on the attribute editor tab to see all the attributes for that user account. Some attributes may be blank, which is normal. If you want to see only attributes with values, click on filter and select show only attributes that have values. This will reduce the number of attributes displayed for the user. However, you can choose to display all attributes, including the blank ones, by unchecking the option show only attributes that have values. This would be helpful if you need to check specific user attribute values. Now, let's move on to viewing all user attributes using PowerShell. So I'm going to open up PowerShell as an admin. I'm going to type the command get hyphen ad user minus identity, and I'll check for the user Michael Green and minus properties and specify an asterisk. So I'm going to use this command to view all user attributes for a specific user. Press enter. All right, so it's going to show all the attributes available for this user. And if you want to count the number of attributes for a user, I will use the same command get hyphen ad user minus identity Michael Green. And I'm going to query all the properties with an asterisk and then type the command get hyphen member with a member type being property alias property. And I'm going to use the command measure object, press enter. All right, you can see the user has little more than 100 attributes. Remember, the number of attributes may vary depending on your domain schema. I hope you find this video helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more helpful videos like this. Thanks for watching.